Welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a different setup. I normally am at my desk, but this day I was outside and now I'm just doing a voiceover. I thought it would be nice to switch up the scenery, plus I thought this would just be a short video that I can put up because you guys have seen that I haven't been posting that much lately. I want to go back to posting more, but of course I have to take care of myself first. This was my current journal while I was filming this. There weren't too many pages left. Now I'm done with it and I'm in the new journal which we're about to set up. This journal that you're looking at right now was from Dollar Tree and the pages were falling out and it was kind of falling apart. Despite that information, my next journal is also from Dollar Tree. The journals are nothing special, but they're good for what you're paying. I mean, the pages are thin and they like kind of fall out, but it's still good for like the price. It is the Jot brand, if you're wondering, which is the Dollar Tree brand, I think. There are some differences though. This journal is slightly bigger and the lines look a little different. The pages in this journal look better to me because I like that the lines are less harsh and the paper seems a little thicker I think so hopefully you'll be good. I already figured out the stickers I would be using before filming this so I kind of already have the layout in mind and now I just have to put it together. Also the sun started coming out in this clip. I will kind of try to pick stickers that relate to the time I'm journaling which like I can't fully predict but with this like I have like that mask in one of the stickers and hello I'm doing my best because I'm trying right now. Not my best but I'm, I'm trying so that it connects to the journal and what is most likely going to be written in it. Also I picked some stickers that would be good for the spring because I am using this journal in the springtime right now. So now you just get to see all the satisfying peeling of the stickers and me sticking them on to my journal. And of course you don't want any dirt getting stuck under the sticker so I made sure to wipe that off before I put it down. This little sticker is from All Things Lily Ann. You guys know that I really love her and her stickers. When I got this order of stickers in, like whenever I ordered them, they were really small and I was really surprised. So I, I guess she made her stickers a smaller size. I don't know, it really sucks because I think she raised the price where it's at least the same, but it's a smaller sticker. So that's a bummer. This is the finished cover though and I really love it and think that it will really fit what's going to be in this journal. Now it's time for the inside. If you've seen any of my other starting my new journals or decorating my new journals, you know that I like to do the first page as like kind of an opening page to the journal, almost a little introduction. I got a few new markers and these sticker sheets and so I decided to use them for the beginning of this journal. I'm using this plain white grid washi tape to put a border around this first page. And I think I just got this washi tape in a set of other grid washi tapes, I think from Amazon or something. I'm actually surprised with how nicely I cut the end of the washi tape. I'm very impressed with myself. I decided to go with this neutral washi tape so it would be kind of a more clean look than some of my other starting pages. Plus I wanted to leave room to experiment with color on top or put colorful stickers or whatever so I just kept it simple. another washi tape. They're little heart faces. This is from the brand Bandeau. I got them in a set of three and I'm just putting it on the top and bottom kind of just as accents. And then I had to pull up my previous journal to see the number because I always forget. So that means this journal is journal number eight. 
with one of my new Tombow brush pen colors, I am making clouds in the background so then I can put the title on top. And now you get to see my sticker organization, which is really exciting because I haven't showed this before. But I got a sticker book from Amazon and it's just a little binder with pages that you can put stickers on. And so I took time to take a lot of my stickers off the sheets and transfer them all into one book so they're all in one place. And I have been loving it so much because now I can just carry around my my sticker book or bring it with me wherever and I have access to so many stickers and now I actually use more of my stickers than I did before. I put this little bread note sticker and that's where I'm going to put the start and end date. I got it from an Etsy shop. I think it's called Hey Moon so you can try to look that up on Etsy. And then I'm using my new pens. I got two shades of pink. And so I just alternated those for the word journal. And I'm using my gold pen to make the number eight. And then my dog came and visited me, so I had to show her for a second. But then I just continued with the gold pen, using it to write the start and end, and then also to outline the word journal. I went back to my sticker book to look for stickers for this page, and I picked one from my Hello Kitty and Sanrio stickers that I think are from Five Below. They also have a Hello Kitty set at Walmart, which I also have. And then I'm using my new heart stickers and just putting ones that match the color scheme. And now I am tying it together by outlining it with the same gold pen, just so it's a little more cohesive. After this, I just ended up calling it a day and saying it was done, which I ended up adding some more things later, but that's it for now. So yeah, this is my new journal. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe down below and let me know what you thought of this video.